Hey, I'm Brock with PDQ. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to identify computers that might be missing Microsoft Office. And this is any version, standalone or Office 365. So this is how to identify any of those computers that might be missing those applications in your environment using PDQ inventory. Uh, now PDQ inventory does have a lot of pre-built collections in the collection library. If we open it up here, we can see the Microsoft Office collection and it has all the different versions and it can tell us which ones are installed and which ones are not installed. But if we want to have one collection that identifies all versions uh, of Office that might be missing from your computers, we can go ahead and create our own dynamic collection to do just that. So we'll minimize that and we'll go ahead and create a new dynamic collection. And we'll give it a name here. All right, so we're gonna start off with our all filter and we are going to change this first filter here to never scanned and we're going to say is false so this is just going to help us return some clean data make sure that we're not uh, searching computers that haven't been scanned yet okay then we're going to add a new group group filter and it's going to be a not any filter okay and then we'll add our two filters underneath that we're going to change both of these to application and we are going to set our comparison to matches expression and then we're going to go ahead and use the built-in microsoft office uh, variables that we have in pdq inventory so we'll go to system and what we're looking for here is app name ms office so right here's the first one okay and then we will do the same thing for our next one but we're going to find the office 365 version okay let's review that everything looks good there Okay, and we, when we click OK, it should automatically populate with the computers that are mis missing any version of Microsoft Office. So we can see here, I've got six computers total in my inventory here, and I've got five that's indicated right here that are returning to this collection. Now, the cool thing with inventory is that it, it makes it really easy to transition from dynamic collections to reports to auto reports. So we can easily just right click on this. We'll go to new and we'll say uh, report from collection. Okay, and this is automatically going to generate a report for us. Okay, and it's just going to return back the computer names and the, uh, the report's just going to be computers that are missing Microsoft Office. So if we save that, the other shortcut we can take is if we just click on auto reports right here, I can go ahead and attach this report to any auto, auto reports that we've already created, or I can create a new auto report. But I've already got a weekly reports auto report, so I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to save it one more time. And now that's going to automatically generate, depending on the trigger that's set with that weekly auto report. Um, anyways, guys, I'm Brock with PDQ. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions for us. All right? Take care.